The Artist Way is trending, and I bet you're one of those people that's avoided reading this book because you don't want to get stuck into the process of it because you want to commit to it fully. But here are three tidbits that I absolutely love from this book. I have 167 highlights from it, so let's just do a little bit to start with. Every time you don't follow your inner guidance, you feel a loss of energy, a loss of power, and a sense of spiritual deadness. Now, what does that mean? It means that every time you don't do the thing that you want to do, which is your deep passion, the reason that you breathe, the reason that like literally alights your soul, your passion, the thing that you always put to the side, every time you ignore that impulse to do something creative, a little part of you dies inside of yourself. So ask yourself if you want to be alive and dead at the same time, because that's essentially what you're doing. You're just dying slowly and making that happen faster by not fulfilling your dreams. And before all of you get started about the, the climate that we're living in, and I understand that, nobody understands that more than me. And that's even more of a reason to push past all of these mental blockages. I know that financially a lot of people aren't in a position to do their creative pursuits, but still do them. That isn't an excuse to not create. It's not an excuse to give up. People and the change in humanity is dependent on creatives and artists actually inspiring people to change. You are needed more than you think you are. You think you're such a small person, but you are not. You are part of a massive, bigger picture and you have no idea what your art could contribute or inspire. No matter what your age or your life path, whether making art is your career or your hobby or your dream, it is not too late, nor too egotistical, or too selfish, or too silly, to work on your creativity. I saw a great video the other day on a podcast of how Samuel L. Jackson started his career at 40. Started. And he is one of the most successful actors of all time. Don't limit yourself. Stop creating all of these mental blockages that you've invented in your head. Stop thinking you are small. Stop thinking that you aren't important. Stop thinking that your art form isn't important or special. Do yourself a favor and stop comparing yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. You know this. Things are just different for you. Your journey is different. It's going to happen differently. You don't want it to happen the way that other people's journeys happened. It's happening exactly as it should 